You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rudrians for our Black and White Sports. Well, we've got some breaking news in here, and it's surrounding a guy that sort of I consider Hall of Very Good. And by Hall of Very Good, I'm talking about borderline Hall of Fame. Um, of course, a lot of people will say if you're borderline Hall of Fame, you don't belong in. But at the end of the day, Willie McGinnis did have 86 sacks as a defensive end, 15 forced fumbles, and he won three Super Bowls. Okay, and it's always those three Super Bowls, those three championships that can push a guy like this that's borderline eventually over into the Hall of Fame. Willie McGinnis very violently, very publicly beat the shit out of a dude a few months ago. Got suspended by NFL Network. A long NFL Network career. He was on all their programming. And of course, a 15-year NFL pro. And for all accounts that I've ever heard, I can't remember Willie McGinnis getting in any prior trouble should be noted by the way these charges are by way of la county i mean i don't know but we do know that the, he he's facing up to eight years in actual prison let's get to this willie mcginnis charged with two felonies over restaurant attack i won't show the attack again it's on this channel somewhere i think i don't know if you two pulled it down or not I know they demonetized it. Willie McGinnis is now facing serious time behind bars for his role in the December restaurant beatdown, TMZ. TMZ Sports has learned the ex-NFL star has just been charged with two felonies. The L.A. County District Attorney's Office filed the charges this week, hitting the New England Patriots legend, with one count of assault with a deadly weapon and one count of assault by means of force likely to create create great bodily injury. And I mean, they beat the tar out of this person. Each charge carries up to four years in prison. McGinnis's arraignment in the case is set for April. We broke the story. McGinnis was initially arrested in the case back in late December after video showed him and several others beating the hell out of a man on December 9th. It was at a restaurant in West Hollywood. The footage appears to show McGinnis socking the guy in the face before later picking up a bottle and smashing it into the man's head. McGinnis eventually apologized for his role in the brawl, calling everything a, quote, lapse in judgment, and behavior and this was his um this was his whole statement first and foremost i want to offer my deepest apology for my lapse in judgment and behavior on december 9th at a restaurant in west hollywood to my family community friends and youth i mentor please know i feel horrible for my actions and take full responsibility and uh this was out kick he was charged by the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office. Uh, so, and the NFL Network is housed out there. McGinnis, who is was inducted into the Pats Hall of Fame in 2015, was suspended from his role as a NFL Network analyst following the arrest. He has yet to return to the gig. And you got to wonder if he really will. Now, look. That's an area that's pretty lax, all right, when it comes to they'll charge somebody and then George Gascon is out there for how long, who knows, uh, but he's known to be pretty lenient on criminals, and if this was another case, we know he was very, um, that's the same place where Dave Chappelle was attacked on stage after his comments in his closer special, remember he went up, he did a stand-up show, guy jumped on stage, part of the LGBTQ LMNOP community, charged Dave Chappelle, and 
Then he got the crap beat out of him by Dave Chappelle's security. But that guy pleaded way down, okay? So I don't know if that would happen in the case of Willie McGinnis. I mean, I'm no lawyer, and but all I do know is that area is pretty lax when it comes to criminal behavior. It is uh, Gavin Newsom's California after all. All right? So that's pretty crazy. This was one of the more shocking things that we've covered on the channel because of Willie McGinnis's reputation you know i mean he was kind of known as a like a real good dude a lot of people were like what happened involving this person that sparked something to go this badly this publicly and it was pretty obvious i mean everybody was going to see this you know surveillance cameras security cameras it was going to be a very very public situation for Willie McGinnis. So that's it. Two felonies up to eight years in prison. If he's convicted, who knows if that'll happen. I'm sure Willie McGinnis has got the money to get a hell of an attorney and we'll see how this goes. Tell me what you think. Black and white sports supporters. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.